welcome again to another episode of The Living Word. And here's music by the Salvation Army Band, a gospel song you may remember. Why not sing the words wherever you are as the band plays? Some of you remember the song. What inspiring words. The great physician now is near, the sympathizing Jesus. And speaking of physicians, just at this moment, Pete Carter is asking his nurse a very important question. Will I need this artificial lung? Portable. You better ask the doctor. It's better than being in the iron lung, isn't it? Maybe until I'm dead. Now you know better than to ask me questions like that. Nurse. Hmm? What would happen if I pulled out that wall plug? Now, Mr. Carter, you just stop thinking things like that. What would? You know perfectly well. You're a wicked man to even talk about it. All my problems would be solved. I think you ought to talk to your minister. I have no minister. Well, maybe the Salvation Army. Captain Craig. Somebody who will knock those sinful notions of suicide out of your head. Why not see him? Please, spare me the spiritual counselor. I don't need religion. I need my health back. Now, now, that's no way to get well. Good night. By the way, you're having company here tomorrow. Who? Joe Burke's his name. Why in here? Because this hospital is too small, even for this small town. We need room. I hope this Joe Burke minds his own business. And likely he will. You see, he's paraplegic. And blind. Nice. Sorry, Joy. I couldn't answer. Nurse was dispensing the evening pittance of fricasseed sawdust to me. That's okay, Mr. Carter. It wasn't nothing. Now listen, Joe Burke. When you were wheeled in here this morning, I thought, well, here's deliverance from complete boredom. But if you're going to play the silent hero, your injuries are the result of some heroic deed, aren't they? Heroic. Joe was blinded in a shock accident. And I panicked like a scared rabbit. Ran around screaming blue murder until I went and ran right into a 12 inch belt. Permanent spine injury. Just the worst part, the doc said. I'm hitched too, you know. My life's plugged into that wall like a toaster. Can't pop up. It's been so useless that bugs me. Whether you're useless or not, Joe, depends on yourself. 
see. I'm blind. I can't move. <laughs> no, useless is the word. Oh, I don't know. A lighthouse can't move, can't see. It's not useless. It saves lives. A lighthouse? Oh, it's easy, Joe. They can give you a lantern and wheel you down to the beach every night. I can see where you two are going to have a wonderful time together, feeling sorry for yourselves. Later, I'll get the orderlies to lift you into bed, Joe. Lighthouse. I guess when you were a lifeguard, you saved a lot of lives, huh? You. That would mean that you've been useful at least some time in your life. Joe, would you like to be useful? You mean like learning to make baskets? I mean, right now. Sure. Well, nurse left a floor lamp shining in my eyes, and I... If I showed you where to find it, would you yank out the plug? Ring the bell for the nurse. Well, if that's your extent to be yeah, helpful... I never just don't want to wreck anything. You won't. I, I just don't want to disturb the nurse. Okay. Which way do I go? Over here towards my voice. Roll her back. That's right. Come on. Straight back. A little bit more. Straight back. More. That's it. Now, reach up your right arm. Back a little bit more. A little bit this way. That's it. You've got it now. Now, now just give it a good yank. Mr. Carter. What, Joe? Before I put out the light, would you do something for me? What? I've been thinking. Maybe a fella needs some help in a thing like this. A, a thing like what? This what I'm going through. I'd like to ask God to help me. What, get well? You're not asking much. Well, I'm not asking for a miracle. It's just that I'd like to feel that I wasn't so alone. Do you think it would help to pray? Where do I fit in? Well, you're good with words. I ain't. I'd like you to make up a prayer for me. What ground should I cover? Like I'm thankful for what I got left. I can hear. I can smell the flowers right in this room. I, I can talk. I can use my hands. I used to run a typewriter for my old man, you know, sending bills out. Two fingers. You want to tell that to God? It's just something you ought to be thankful for. They say that blind people can learn the touch system pretty good. Say, maybe, maybe you can make up stories and I can put them down on paper. How about that? <laughs> you know, Joe, you're quite a fellow. Then, after you've done thanking him, Ask him to help me be more of a man. To have some, you know, make me quit pitying myself. Make me appreciate that even the way I am, like this, I'm a lot luckier than some people. A lot of people. After all, he does care about me. Jesus Christ did die for people like me, not just healthy, whole people, but cripples and sinners and unhappy people. All right, Joe, I, I think I can fill in the rest. I'll say your prayer for you. I wonder, could I make it for both of us? Sure. But before you start, do you still want me to pull this plug up? No, not yet. It'll be 
Heavenly Father, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank thee for the many blessings you've left with Joe and me, and, and maybe with your help, we can both be lighthouses, showing the way for others, and as well as being useful to ourselves. Amen. Amen. Now, about this plug, do you, do you still want me to pull it out now? No, no, don't touch it, Joe. Just leave it right where it is. Thinking of Joe Burke and Pete Carter, and of all of us, I'd like to sing a simple song. When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. As the living word, the Bible, puts it, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. Let us pray. O merciful Father, who dost share whatever burdens thy children bear, help us to find in thine enabling grace the sufficient answer to all our prayers. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Join us again, won't you, when we seek to learn more of the living word and of him who is in very truth the living word.